Hello, this is Julia Bushkova, and today you're going to see a portion of the lesson that I taught to my student who had a problem with fast string crossings in Detaché. Her problem had to do with inactive or underactive elbow and upper arm. Uh, when we do such string crossings, we have to be able to get to the right level of the string in the fast motion. And for that, of course, our elbow and upper arm should be active, in which I mean this. As you can see, it moves. If it doesn't move, it would be a big problem. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so now the same thing. If you could do the same thing just a little bit slower, ta 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 like this one time. Okay, okay. So now this is very clear. What happens in here is that you are playing. So you're starting from G string, correct? And instead of going to any other string, your whole portion here stays on G string all the time. Right. And if you can okay. see me do this, it looks really stiff. Right. right. So what you want, you, first of all, we will slow down, as usual, mm -hmm. always slow down to catch the correct coordination, correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I would like you, I know the, by the music you start in third position, right. but most of that is between three strings, right. correct? Mm -hmm. So we'll just go to the first position right now and do... <laughs> you can just keep the same note. Okay. Not change it, mm -hmm. or you can change it if you like, but slower and watch that you can go to each string. Okay. Okay, so you did it several times. First time it was good on every string, second time it was mm -hmm. not as, not as right. well, then you remember that you tried more <laughs> and so on, right? Yeah. Okay, so make this more automatic so that you can use it at any time. There is a wonderful exercise that we know and I can show you right now. So this exercise is done in a very slow tempo by itself, so you are thinking in between the notes that you will play. And so the thinking takes part in pauses, therefore exercise becomes slow, but the movements within the exercise are really fast. Okay. So we're doing martelet, we're putting the same thing on martelet, and we're doing this way. You wait on A, and you wait on D, back to on G. So the key to this exercise is to as I say, wait on the next string, and that wait at the, the going there has to be instantaneous at the moment of finishing the note. Okay, so it's like you're thinking one step ahead. Correct. So what you might want to do is to actually say, okay, wait on D. Now wait on A. Wait on D. Wait on G. Again, wait on D. And so on, okay? Sure. Try it, please. With the saying? You might want to do the yeah. saying, yeah. Wait on D. Mm -hmm. Wait on A. And faster, okay. Wait on D. Yes, yes. that mm -hmm. way. Wait on G. I mean, yes, yes G. <laughs> Correct. Wait on D. Yeah, and you see it's already a bit hard. Yes. <laughs> Just the, the, okay, so at first, relax. So at first you might want to do, maybe you don't need to say it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can think it, yeah. but you think it in these poses. Let's do it one more time. And try okay. not to press so much. So when you're mm -hmm. stopping the bow, it's like true martelet. Mm -hmm. So you stop. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it sounds a little bit when you go on the other string, sometimes it does, but don't press like this. Okay, sure. It doesn't, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very fast. 
Rest, good. Rest. And now wait. Relax your shoulder. Good. Very relaxed. Relax. Like, okay, so this, this muscle has to be relaxed. Yeah, okay, so yeah, maybe we also will show you something else at the end. Uh, one more time. G, G level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a bit slow. Mm -hmm. So you want to be really pump and wait on very sharp motion. Better. Yes. Good. Yes. And what we notice, uh, what I notice right now, is um, because you have a bit of the problem here with this muscle wanting to come up, right? Yes. And just your general kind of general um, hesitation, I would say, knowing you, I know, I know that you hesitate to be so high mm -hmm. up on G string. Your tendency is to be low anyway because you're worried that this will be coming up, right. correct? And so yeah. because of this right now, when you go on D string, it maybe shoots over a little bit, then yeah. you really need to. And then you go on G again, mm. it may shoot over a little bit. Uh, so create for yourself the best possible way of executing this exercise, but one only my request, a uh, very firm request, <laughs> not to speed the tempo. Okay. This whole exercise is done truly in the pauses. So when you go to faster tempo, what you do, you reduce the rests. Right, okay. You just eliminate the rest. You get this motion right. there. You see what I mean? Yes. yes. Okay. This is it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I will see you all later.